Vermont, you've been hearing, get your real ID or you won't be able to fly. Those warnings have led to unprecedented crowds at Secretary of State offices all over the state. Now, CBS 2's Vince Girasoli reports the state is telling some people to stay away. The bottom line is this line is now long on a daily basis. Are you looking to get the real ID to start? Waits up to two hours, a confusing array of documents in hand, all for a new Illinois issued driver's license called Real ID. I want the real ID. By October 1st of 2020, if you use your license to board a plane, new federal security measures require it be verified as Real ID with a star symbol at the top of the card. Step up. Reviewing the extra documents required takes more time, and requests are frequently incomplete. This is Margie Beige's second trip home empty-handed. I don't have my 1099 or my Social Security card, so I've been rejected. Look straight ahead at that. But this real ID is getting me real crazy. In spite of the Secretary of State's offices extending hours and adding staff, it's been slow going. Illinois has issued about 800,000 real IDs to date. That's in a state with some 8 million licensed drivers. But not everyone needs a real ID. To manage the waits, the state is now pointing out if you have a valid passport or global entry card, you'll be able to fly without a real ID license. If you are one of those people who has a passport and who doesn't need the real ID right away, you can wait until your expiration comes up. Illinois is not alone in struggling with real ID. Listen to what happened in the state of Maryland. Maryland issued 1 million real IDs without scanning required documents into the system. They're now recalling each of those licenses on a rolling basis. And Oklahoma and Oregon have something in common that's nothing to brag about. Both states are not real ID compliant and won't even begin issuing licenses until the summer. Back in Illinois, Margie Beige from LaGrange is hoping she's got her real ID by then. I didn't just drop into the loop. You know, I had to make a hustle to get here, so yeah. I'm coming back. <laughs> okay, truth be told, I don't have my real ID yet either. We learned from the Chicago Department of Aviation that they're exploring the idea of setting up Secretary of State outposts at both Midway and O'Hare airports to help get more people signed up. We're going to take a look at that and also a call from the nation's airports to extend the deadline. That's coming up at 6 o'clock tonight. Till then, reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News.